All right, how about the Houston Texans, the playoff-bound Houston Texans? Yes, they pull off the important game here in Week 18. They go to the postseason. Just incredible stuff, the way they were able to make this happen. Let's talk about CJ Stroud's game, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Let's start off with the play that we should start off with, and the broadcast footage was nice enough to give us the All-22 uh, footage here, so that's what we're going to be going over as you can maybe even tell just by looking at it how this could exactly work that player right there for Indianapolis he's in, you know he's supposed to be covering the zone that he is currently standing in uh a cover six concept that appears to be so he is a safety who is deep but he's not covering half of the field like the other safety on this play he's just covering a quarter of the field that's why it's cover six because it's cover two and cover four combined two plus four is six so, if that's where you're supposed to cover, well, in this route concept, who should you cover? The more over the middle route or the deep route? Well, the deep route. You always want to cover the deep route. That's traditionally how you do this. But that obviously means that that more over the middle route could be potentially exposed. And so you see when this play begins, what's going to happen is that the deep route ends up having a one-on-one -on -one matchup as the safety it decides to cover over the middle instead of the deep route, which, you know, maybe this is a decision of maybe he's trusting the corner who was over there. But traditionally, that's not how you run this play. Traditionally, you make sure you cover the deep route. To me, that becomes even more clear when the player who is running this route is Nico Collins, who is one of the real underrated wide receivers in this league. And I think this game might be really uh, letting the league kind of take notice and let it, the league already knows, but letting fans kind of take notice. But also, watch how Stroud realizes this, and right before getting hit, throws a perfectly accurate throw. That's a really high degree of difficulty play from Stroud to get it down there as quickly as he did to throw it accurately and to, you know, just read the play, right? That's not usually what happens on that play. Usually, the more over the middle route is what you look towards. So for him to realize that the deep shot was open, really high degree of difficulty stuff, even if I would say that the Colts probably made a mistake on that play. Speaking of mistakes, Houston made some, uh, definitely. They got cold after that, right? Scored another touchdown late in the first half, but, uh, you know, kind of went on a cold stretch, and did it, they made some mistakes. A play like this, where the way it works is you have a receiver running over the middle, that can kind of get the corner out of the area, you then have your tight end run, uh, you know, where the corner was, a, you know, a linebacker for Indianapolis will probably pick it up, but hey, now you got a linebacker trying to run down the field, it's a mismatch. However, when Stroud takes the snap, you're going to see that he looks down the field, he fires down the field, and really, the Indianapolis player uh, who is trying to cover right here is actually a little late in getting over. So, this is a wide open scenario and could be, uh, I don't know about a touchdown, but honestly, maybe a touchdown. Instead, no getting around it, this is just a missed throw from Stroud, and Stroud will miss some throws occasionally. Like, the accuracy is probably been his one weakness, I would say. He doesn't have a lot of weaknesses, but if I had to nitpick, that would definitely be where I would nitpick. And also like this play where Stroud is going to run a play action, uh, he's going to eventually fire it towards uh, Dalton Schultz. Look like Schultz had his hands on it, just couldn't quite make the grab. So a couple of opportunities to, you know, get something going on these plays, not quite able to do it. But eventually they got to this point where it's just going to be a screen pass to Nico Collins on a third and two. And again, getting explosive plays in the NFL is always so important and always should be talked about. Sure, it's great when you can run a methodical drive and get a 12-play touchdown drive and all that kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, if you have to run 12 plays, you're probably not going to have 12 successful plays, right? Things are going to go wrong, but if you can get the ball down the field quickly, it's just less plays you have to execute. And watch as when Stroud is going to flip the ball to Collins, I mean, you see there's an Indianapolis player who can kind of try to run in and make a tackle. However, Collins gets by him and even gets, gets around another Indianapolis player, is able to get all the way inside the 10-yard line, sets up a touchdown on third down, so they were eventually able to get it in that way. So, you know, that was a huge play, as if they don't convert. My guess is they try a long field goal there, which who knows what happens, so definitely important to get into the end zone. This play was a bit of a, you know, the Colts were able to get stops, and this was the way they were able to do it, right, with uh, kind of a, a blitz in this scenario. It's, they are going to blitz, and they just, you know, for Houston, they need a receiver to win. Stroud takes the snap. He's going to, you know, wall off his back foot, fire one, and there actually is a window right here. So, you know, there were other times where guys weren't getting open. 
This time, you do have a guy eventually getting open, but the issue is because of the pressure, because there was an unblocked man, Stroud's throw was just a bit too far in this scenario. There were just plays like that where things were just a bit off, be it drop passes, missed throws, pressure coming, causing missed throws, you know, little things like that is a big way in how Indianapolis was able to get some of these stops. But Stroud, for sure, he just, he made some plays down the stretch, really, right? I mean, like, something like this is a, a great example where it's going to be zone coverage, and they're doing just, I think, one of the most fun plays you can do in football. Watch as Stroud is going to hand the ball off, but then they flip it back to Stroud, a flea flicker, which is always fun. Here's the issue, though, with flea flickers sometimes is that you still have to have your offensive lineman pass block. So, like, a lot of times the de defense, maybe they get a little bit more fooled by it, but it's almost like a hard play action more so than just, like, a straight-up trick play. Sometimes it completely works, but in this case, it did not. However, Stroud kind of looks up, and kind of a weird scenario happens where, because Indianapolis then you know, was a bit a half-step out of position, they go so far back, getting themselves back in position down the field, they now there's now you know a window where Stroud can make something happen. Watch him use his legs. He could have flipped it to the halfback, but hey, you're CJ Stroud. You can move well, and you know every time he runs, it's seemingly a good thing. So definitely doing a good job there, being able to just make a play happen. Right, that's sometimes what you need uh, in a big game like this. Have someone who can make a play happen, and that's what Stroud was able to do on this one. Also, this one was really key, where it's going to be zone coverage that the uh, Colts are currently in. I know the, you know we're starting with the play already kind of started. This is the first frame that ESPN showed. Uh, Got to get close-ups of quarterbacks' faces before we show the play. Uh, so that's what happened there. But anyway, watch how when this play begins, Stroud is going to start to scramble outside the pocket, but then quickly realizes there's nowhere for him to go. Uh, you know, they, really good job by the Colts of uh, getting this containment, pushing him back, forcing him to, if he wants to make a throw, make a throw off his back foot right here. You could argue this is not a great decision. Uh, it, well, you would make that argument if it wasn't for, as you see, Stroud pushing the ball down the field and Collins is able to get open and make the catch. So really good stuff there by Collins. Good stuff by uh, Stroud. And honestly, good stuff by the Colts defense, right? Sometimes it's good offense versus good uh, defense. To me, that's what happened there. They were, of course, able to hold on with, you know, after scoring a touchdown on this drive, they hold on to win the game and are in the playoffs. I mean, just kind of crazy to think. Uh, this is a team that, I'll be honest, I thought was going to be really bad this year. I, even though I really like Stroud out of the draft and I liked the D'Amico Ryans hi hire, I, I didn't think it'd be enough. I think they would, I thought they would need a lot more. And while those two guys have been awesome, there's been so many other pieces that have come through in big ways. Uh, but of course, the big one being just CJ Stroud and the emergence of him as a star player, a star quarterback. That's going to get you into the postseason a lot, and it already did in year one, which as, as a Texans fan who has had to deal with everything you've had to deal with these past couple of years, that has to be pretty fun. But yeah, uh, those are my thoughts on all of this. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.